There he is. All right. All right, cool. Oh, so started like uh, that. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Finally, it's fucking working. So, uh, today on the Culture Shock, we have a good buddy of mine. Do you want? What do you want to go by? Uh, I can just go by Gabe, bro. All right. Uh, Fine. All right. All right. Cool. Uh, so we got Gabriel. So what's up, man? Nothing, nothing really. I've been uh, trying to create monsters for this universal competition. Oh, oh I want to okay. work in the film business, so I figured if I do good on that, it will kind of, you know, expose me into, like, directors and stuff. Because you want to do, like, some Tom, Z- Tom Savini uh, yeah. type of shit. Uh, Greg Nicotero. Yeah. All right. To give everybody a little bit of backstory to this motherfucker, uh, I did. Would you want to say it's your podcast or is uh, it's, it like, it's like your buddy's thing. podcast? It's like a group thing. All right. So I did your group's podcast, <laughs> and it was a complete train wreck. <laughs> Uh, it was didn't even. We uploaded it, but then we deleted that episode. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> y'all uploaded that shit. I listened to it once, <laughs> and then you deleted it. <laughs> uh, the fact that y'all motherfuckers recorded a what was it? <laughs> a fucking hour long podcast. <laughs> it, was yeah. like, it was like what? It was, yeah, an, it was hour. an hour long. Fuck! I forgot to. How long do you think we've been going for? About six minutes. Uh, yeah, it hasn't been that long. We, like just started. All right, because I started a, I started a stopwatch, so I can detect the amount of time that we've done this. So. Uh, I did his group's podcast, and as far as everyone else knows, um, the episode doesn't was, exist. Yeah, it doesn't exist anywhere. It's like motherfuckers up made it, <laughs> uploaded it. I listened to it maybe once or twice. I can't remember how many times I listened to the shit. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> and then, promoted it on Instagram. <laughs> I promoted the shit. <laughs> Dude, that's okay. That's something I gotta get into. All right, <laughs> so I listened to it twice. I promoted the shit on my Instagram. The story is still there. <laughs> if I go back on our Instagram messages, the story is still there. It's just in the archive. And <laughs> y'all motherfuckers delete the shit the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all deleted it the next day. <laughs> it wasn't even like a second episode. We we named it like one point two. Yeah, or like y- y'all named it one point five. <laughs> like fuck, dude. <laughs> it's like Jesus Christ, dude. I uh, think all that's out right now is uh one. There's that one when he was talking. You guys just talked about porn. <laughs> The only one that's out. <laughs> Yo, you guys, it's all you did. <laughs> Legit, it's all you did. You just fucking talked about porn. <laughs> I was like, oh, dude, I even promoted the shit on Twitter <laughs> with the link. Oh man, at least not gonna go anywhere anymore. Yeah, I think I need to go back and delete a couple of tweets. <laughs> All right. So now that we got that out of the way, <laughs> <laughs> now that we got that out of the way, uh, now we know how you're doing. For well, um, since you weren't given a formal introduction, uh, introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Gabriel, and I mainly draw and uh, sculpt, you know, play games. The podcast is dead, so I don't do that anymore. 
<laughs> You're doing my podcast. <laughs> Well, that's different. I'm a guest on this one. Yeah, you're not a <laughs> you're not a fucking co-host. Oh, but <laughs> so uh, now we know who you are. Uh, bit of backstory. I've known this motherfucker for shit. How long? I've known you since like fucking middle school, like sixth grade, right? Yeah. Is yeah, it's like I'm yeah, about to graduate like oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fucking it's been, <sighs> dude, I fuck what twenty seven a long time. Well, it's been like maybe eight years, right? Give or take, probably. I don't really want to do the math, but sure. yeah, I don't want to do Let's the math either. I was hoping you already had it done. <laughs> All right, so I've known this motherfucker for a very long time, let's just say. And, I, uh, oh, dude, dude, uh, since we uh, went back to middle school, we have to talk about the early beginnings of my YouTube channel. We fucking have to. <laughs> we have to. <laughs> we have to. Yeah, I, I remember always reporting your videos just, <laughs> just to do it. I didn't even have a reason. It's just Ooh, I did it. You and Cameron, you <laughs> mother, you guys, <laughs> you and Cameron weren't even like I. I guess I don't even know if you'd say supporters. I'm using air quotes. <laughs> supporters, y'all motherfucker. Every video I would upload, y'all would report it for sexual content or something stupid. Right, y'all was recording this video without permission. <laughs> when you aren't even in the video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so y'all motherfuckers would report the video and give it a thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> you keep in mind, I've been doing YouTube since 2016, so it's been like six years. I'm surprised the channel hasn't got taken down with the amount of <laughs> spam we needed. Because all those videos ha were forced to be taken down. <laughs> because of all the reporting and fucking like dislikes and all that shit. You, you know, <laughs> do you know how many emails I've gotten from YouTube about videos <laughs> no, that have no, been taken down fucking four years ago? videos that were taken down four years ago they fucking send me an email right and they say hey remember this you can go fuck yourself i'm like bro like <laughs> the video is already taken down what else are you gonna do like <laughs> my oh. favorite video by far was with cameron and i think it was like scoot scoot oh like yeah that. Oh, you're like on the back of like Bro, the PE track. The legend of Scoot Scoot needs to live on forever. <laughs> I, I, I need to text Cameron. I, <laughs> she can't Cameron on here. That'd be funny. Yes, I need to do. Bro, I need Mid to do an podcast guest. Huh? Mid podcast <laughs> guest. Just bring him no. on in the middle of it. <laughs> That's going to be a separate episode. That's going to be episode two. <laughs> this is you and Cameron, and you're just going to talk shit about me for fucking an hour. <laughs> so, uh, uh, scoot, scoot. <laughs> and, bro, the leafy rant. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, my God. The leafy rant. Oh lord, I completely stole that from iDubs. <laughs> <laughs> like the whole the entire basis of that rant was he had no chin. <laughs> like it was a fucking 15 minute video of me saying, Hey bro, you ain't got no chin and you're a douchebag. It's like <laughs> And, I, <laughs> bro, I remember I had Isaiah be my director. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, I, Isaiah was very influential into the uh, early, early beginnings of uh, the Mikey Atlas YouTube channel. He was very, very, he was hands-on. 
I guess you could say. Because he was my director. And then Cameron was the actor. Yeah, Cameron, I feel like once I start making money, I'm going to have to give these guys royalties. <laughs> <laughs> For videos that aren't even up. <laughs> I just need to be like the videos hey. that they got taken down themselves yeah. for reporting it. <laughs> <laughs> like the fucking video, I, I feel like I'm gonna have to pay them royalties <laughs> to be like, oh, you remember that video you got taken down five years ago? Here's twenty bucks. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So okay, I think we've laid out fall. Um. The next couple of episodes, I need to get Isaiah, <laughs> I need to get Cameron, <laughs> <laughs> and I need to get an episode with all three of you motherfuckers. So, all right, you know, maybe that will help us bring <laughs> other podcasts back to life. Yeah, dude, it could be the resurrection of the uh, the resurrection of the knockoff, a collab with knockoff, dude. I think that'll bring us back. Yes, I, sw- dude. Yes, this Gotta is gold. By Hayden. We have to. I, I'm texting that motherfucker right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we we need we really need to do this. It, it'd be fucking great. All right. <clears throat> so uh, we've gone into our like our past, and like mm-hmm. I remember, you took me. What was it? It wasn't the opening night of Deadpool, was it? Or was it uh, like I that? I don't think it was. It was like for my birthday. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I went to go watch Deadpool. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It, it, it was when you lived in my neighborhood. And I used yeah. to go over to your house a lot. Yeah, a lot. A lot. I remember that one time we watched Meet the Spartans? <laughs> <laughs> I remember you, that you... one time we were going like to the mall or something. You just randomly came over and went with us. Yeah, I was uh, like, because my dad was like, hey, go to your friend's house. I was like, okay. So I walked to your house and I was like, hey, is Gabriel here? And they were were like, yeah, we're going to the mall. You want to (laughs) go? So I texted my dad. I was like, yo, is it cool for me to go? He was like, yeah, sure. And then y'all took me to the mall. We went to like fucking what? Marino Valley or Temecula or some shit like that? Yeah, something like that. And bro, Oh, uh, I I heard a story about you taking a certain someone. I don't know <laughs> if he wants me to say his name or not. I feel like you know what I'm talking about because you're laughing like, oh. Mm-hmm. I <laughs> like, think I know what you're talking about. You he hasn't a... been sent. I haven't taken him anywhere since. I don't think I talked to him since. <laughs> Bro, he texted me earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You took a certain someone to Hall- Wait, was it Universal Horror Nights or Halloween, Halloween Horror, Horror, Horror Night? Nights? At <laughs> Universal Studios. Oh, it's okay. Been okay. What, wait, my what? favorite event since then. But what, what? that was. All right. All right. Oh, wait, what were you going to say? Okay. Uh, I'm sorry for cutting you off because you're my guest. But it's what's right. the name of it? Is it Halloween Univer- or Universal Horror Nights Halloween or Halloween Horror, Horror Nights? It's Halloween Horror Nights. All right, continue with your story. So, it was both our first year going, right? Okay. When we went, I think and, we had an exorcist before. and a Halloween maze at the time. So, so we went, what year is this? This was... I can't remember. The Say years. about I think 2000... like 2016. 2016. I think that was. Oh the yeah, because right? like yeah, we we would go to like that one lunch table in the mornings, right? And we yeah. like we just like talk shit. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. That's the so entire was... basis of our friendship. We just talk 2016, shit to each other. <laughs> we drove like two hours all the way to Hollywood, where Universal is at. <laughs> for him to to go in two mazes, <laughs> just two. What were the two mazes? It was Halloween and the Exorcist. So for, wait, which Halloween? Uh, the original the or one. Rob Zombie? It was I think like the original. Oh, I think it was like one of them. I don't know which one. I know that looks one. so. That sounds so cool. So we went. We went through the first one. 
he came out kind of all right, sort of shaking. Then we went to The Exorcist, and it kind of went downhill from The Exorcist. <laughs> After we got out The Exorcist, he, we went down to go to... It was, uh... What? Oh, I thought you were working on your drawing. I am. It was, uh... Freddy vs. Jason. Oh, dude, that one sounds so cool! <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> so we got into line, and he just he just wimped out and wanted to go sit <laughs> on the bench. And I was ready. I was ready just to ditch him on that bench. I was gonna ditch him. But my, my mom said, you invited him. I don't have to go with them. So then we just went on rides for the rest of the night. Bro, that's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, dude, remember that one time we, uh, uh, oh shit. Oh yeah, I didn't get to take take that picture with him, did I? Cause like I I left and went to go with my other friend. Uh, that one Cowboys player guy that doesn't play for the league anymore. The uh, one that went to the middle school. Yeah, uh, David Irving. I don't remember yeah. who that guy is. I, I don't even remember Because I, I remember he came to the school, and then he signed All my shirt was, like, and my some hat. Some football player went to the school. And then I think, uh, like, you went behind a curtain and took a picture with him or something. Yeah. I don't know where that picture is. But... I, I, All I remember... I think he uh, signed something of mine, too, but I don't know where that is either. He signed my hat. And my shirt, and both of those things, they now reside in a plastic Walmart bag in the closet. <laughs> like I'm completely serious. <laughs> they that's, reside. That's kind of like me. I have some signed stuff out, not really, but I have a Stan Lee signed comic book and something, a uh, Rob Lee filled shirt, and John Murdy, who is like. The creative director for Halloween Horror Nights, and it's all folded in a drawer and it's never coming out. Like, dude, uh, fucking, like that's all folded up. It's put in a paper, like not a paper bag, a plastic bag, and it resides in my grandma's closet. <laughs> <laughs> she put it in a box, and then she put it in a closet, and it hasn't been seen since. Just gotta preserve those. Same with all my fucking posters. They just, whew, like, I just give them all to them because I'm gonna be moving to Arizona soon, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take to Arizona. All... Yeah, didn't I tell you about that? What do you do out in Arizona? Well, okay, uh, that segues into our next segment: uh, special effects makeup. Forgot about that. I wanted to go to. I was gonna go to Pennsylvania for for the uh, Tom Savini school. Yeah, I, but fuck. recently, later today, there's another school out in LA for like film and stuff like that. So I'm thinking of probably moving to LA. I Get could school out there, or there's uh there's Full Sail University in Orlando. I know there's also... Oh, I didn't know about that one. I know there's also... A, there was a special effects school in LA, too, that I wanted to go to. But the only problem was they don't support financial aid. So, kind of... They're just like, you gotta pay got this on your the own. Table. Yeah. Because, dude, those are so fucking expensive. They're Like, the Tom Savini school is $30,000, right? Yeah, that one, that one supports the fast fund stuff like that, though. It, is it thirty thousand dollars or three hundred thousand? Yeah, it's it's pretty expensive. I, yeah, I remember it is, but... we were we were talking about it. Oh yeah, because you sent me that video. Remember of uh, yeah, those dudes touring the fucking school. The school is really cool. They have like a a museum with the old Universal monsters and stuff. Like that, dude, I watched that tour and it looks so fucking cool. All right. So as we segue into special effects makeup, I am moving to Arizona 
after I finish high school. Because <laughs> there is a not a specific special effects makeup school, but there is a community college in Arizona called Glendale Community College that has a they call it theater uh like theater and performing arts or some shit like that, right? And it's like a makeup course. And I'm gonna have to go to like some fucking beauty school and all that stuff because I have to get a certificate in cosmet uh, cosmetology and like f just all that. And uh, since special effects makeup, and I'm moving to Arizona, 25 minutes, and it's 25 minutes away from where I'm gonna live. And what's cool is 25 minutes away from there, from that school. There is a pro wrestling school that I think they charge like fucking maybe uh, like five grand or some shit like per semester. And there's like four semesters in it. So yeah, there's that. And 25 minutes away from that school, there is a wrestling promotion that has a TV program called championship wrestling from arizona so my plan is i'm gonna go to that makeup uh that school for four years because the makeup course is two years and i'm gonna after that i'm gonna just do two years of uh media and then after i graduate from that wrestling school i'm gonna go to that promotion that has a tv program and then i'm gonna be on tv like closed circuit television in uh Arizona. All right, that's that's cool to see. I'll kind of want to do basically almost the same thing except I don't really want to move to Arizona. I've been more like I'm more like an LA person. I like I kind of just like being in the city. But there is this see, one school the School of professional makeup that I wanted to go to. Oh, dude, that's except a... it's in LA, but like on the website it says closure support, so I don't know if it's open anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, as we're fucking let me see how long we're into this, but so far, how would you rate words say about 25 minutes in how would uh -huh. you rate this episode so far compared to the knockoff I, episode that i did i think it's uh maybe a little bit better than that knockoff episode it's a lot more structured in it. <laughs> it it is because i know what I i'm think i think the last episode we were kind of just like making fun of youtube <laughs> Yeah, like the entire episode. It was an hour. Sorry to, sorry for the listeners to go back to this knockoff stuff. But the entire episode <laughs> was an hour of you guys shitting on me. <laughs> it was a, a one hour of you just being like, you know what? Fuck you. Let's tell some stories about how you're a piece of shit human being. Like, yeah, it's great. Thanks, it's guys. It was the local crackhead yeah you guys are fucking assholes thanks you guys are a <laughs> bunch of dicks <laughs> uh all right i dude we need to get that crossover i, I i'll talk to him after we do. the episode uh, after the episode's over i'll talk to him all right and like i've been trying to make a channel trailer dude and it's so fucking weird to hear the sound of my own voice Yes. And, and it's hard. Like what's what's weird about that is I've been doing YouTube for about say about five, six years, give or take, right? So uh I've been doing that. I, mean, I could say and, I've been there from the beginning when you make it big, except yeah, for, yeah, for one of the first haters. <laughs> yeah, the first haters, not even first supporters. Like, hey, <laughs> fuck you. Like, 
this not even support you're just like hey <laughs> fuck you you deserve to go die in a hole like <laughs> you you get a small penis and you deserve to die and burn in hell <laughs> like fuck dude thanks for the support buddy <laughs> like jesus oh we need to do yeah when we do that podcast with uh cameron and uh or yeah, Cameron and Isaiah. I don't know if they want me to say their real names, but I don't give a fuck. You I already just said did. Them. <laughs> I already did. We are me and you already did. So they're oh, gonna have true. to they're gonna have to deal with it either way. But except for the universal story, his name's Anthony. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Now he's gonna come after me and be like, oh, "Why did he say this about me?" <laughs> you know, I just felt like I needed a name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be. I'm gonna tell him. Just listen to the fucking episode, <laughs> and you'll know why. <laughs> he's, he's. He'll know it's about him, anyways. <laughs> he'll pro. He'll probably I not. I think he talk remembers to that. I think he remembers that. Still, I'm not sure. He'll probably not talk to me after this. I think we've ruined <laughs> one of my French. <laughs> I think it's fine. It's not that bad of a story. <laughs> Be like, ah, yeah, he was a bitch. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I can dust this friendship under the rug. <laughs> <laughs> we've definitely ruined one of my friendships. <laughs> but uh, continuing on. Uh, we already talked about oh going back to the channel trailer stuff uh for the last fucking month uh say two months actually i've been trying because my my brother who is a rapper uh he known as onyx of warrior he told me that he could help me get my podcast on spotify so i was like all right cool he was like, but you need to record a channel trailer first. I was like, fuck. All right. <laughs> Do you even have enough podcasts to make a trailer out of them? Like, I don't, this is the first episode. <laughs> I thought you had to leave one more episode before me. This is the debut episode of the <laughs> fucking Culture Shock with Seth McKendry. It. Welcome to the wild ride, folks. It can only get <laughs> worse from here. So, <laughs> it's all downhill. Yeah, it's all downhill from here. All right. So, um, I'm rec- I'm trying to record this trailer, right? I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. And then I, like, it always starts with this. I'm like, oh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Culture Shock Podcast with Seth McKendry. What we're gonna, what this podcast will be about. So I'm just going to be interviewing some people. And then after that, after I say I'm going to be interviewing some people, I don't know what to say because I have <laughs> nothing else to say. You, after you that. know what I think would be a good channel trailer is film like maybe five podcasts or maybe just three before it and just pick out like the funniest moments, kind of make a compilation. And then the just fucking. All right. I, just be like, right. this is like what you're gonna see when you know, because listening I, to the I, podcast, dude, that's a good idea. And the thing is, I'm not very good at say like editing like audio and or video, because my original intention was to have this be a video podcast, so I can put it on <laughs> YouTube. But. Uh, looks like this this first episode is gonna be audio only, folks. I'm sorry, you're mm-hmm. just gonna have to deal with. It. No further. Got, I don't think you guys know, but there's kind of like a virus going around. Yeah, that's why we were gonna, cause we could turn cameras on right now. See, like that, we could do that, but oh, they're not gonna see it. I, yeah, <laughs> also so, not turning on my camera. There, there so. is no. There's no point. So it's the first episode is just going to be audio. <laughs> so it doesn't fucking matter. But uh yeah, recording this channel trailer. So I think I'm going to just do that compilation thing you were talking about. So mm-hmm. 
what I'm going to do, as we segue, we are about, say, 32 minutes in, right? Well, the timer says 28 minutes and 50 seconds. But we were recording for like two minutes before. So, eh. Anyway, segue into our next segment, which we will talk about horror. We'll talk about horror. So, uh, talking about uh, horrors? No, no. <laughs> we'll talk about <laughs> horror films or like the <laughs> horror genre. <laughs> All right, yeah, this is this can only get worse, folks. Uh, <laughs> strap yourselves in. We're gonna fucking rocket rocket strap you to the moon. So, uh, all right. So, as we talk about horror films and the entire horror genre, uh, would you like to tell the listeners how you got in to the horror film genre? Because as far as I know, you were there. I've been watching stuff. Well, I started off with Monster Squad. That was like the first thing. Sort of, not really, but had like, you know, monsters in it. That's where I started like years ago. I was like really young. How old would you say you you were about to be? I was, shoot, I don't even know. I was about six, seven. Maybe. Probably around there. I would say around there, yeah. <coughs> the one thing I can remember, the one line I can remember from Monster Squad is Wolfman's got nards. <laughs> That's the best line in the fucking movie. All right. As so, we've talked about your horror movie beginnings because I've I know that you were the first person I had met. Because before, say about summer 2019, I, you couldn't get me to watch a horror film. Like, you couldn't even get me to be fucking 15 feet with, like, from, <laughs> like, a horror film watching, like, on TV. You could not let me be in the same room. Dude, I was so terrified. You don't. Oh, now you're like fucking... addicted to it. Now I, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's a complete 180. Like, <laughs> like you know the fucking um the Goosebumps TV show. Yeah, dude, that's right. I the intro to that show when I was a kid. Oh my god, my grandpa, he fucking. Like the intro to that show would play, right? And I would get my ass up and run out of the room. You got that you gotta song remember is like burned into my mind. I've heard it so many times. Honestly, bro, and it's I even remember like the intro with the suitcase and all the papers yeah, flying out. And all the papers and the flying dog out with the glowing and eyes. The, and the yeah, just moving around. The G just going through the fucking door, like, bro. <laughs> and it go, it goes across the fucking billboard, and the chick's eyes yeah. glow. Oh my god, dude. Anyway, uh, like I remember there was this one time, uh, I was fo- like, I was say, what, uh, say about eight at the time, or. Fuck, it, it may have been even earlier than that. Anyway, the show was airing on TV. And my my grandpa, bless his heart, I love him to death. But he tried. He he tried. He was like, You're you're gonna um you're gonna watch this whether you like it or not. Right? <laughs> so he put me in a room and he was like, watch it, goddammit. Well, he didn't say that verbatim, but comedic effect anyway he was like watch it so i i was like you know when someone watches a horror film and like they they like have their hands over their eyes oh yeah like they yeah. showing all the poltergeist trailers <laughs> yeah or like what was that movie called again 
Paranormal Activity. Yeah, those movies are fucking. I honestly, <laughs> I just don't like uh, found footage films. The like the entire concept yeah. of it. You, like you get what I'm saying? The entire concept is just, it's stupid. You know what I mean? I keep forgetting the name. I know I just said the name. <laughs> Paranormal Activity. Yeah, yeah. That one, I don't think it's good. Especially with like the security camera footage they try to show. I'd be like, oh, like it is. the door shut on its own. So scary. Oh, the window's open. Well, That's why the door about, shut. Like, paranormal movies. The Conjuring is like... I think almost On it, like I watched that movie most recent series that's really good by far. Cause uh as far as I know, the first conjuring movie was you know, a true there's story. A, both of them are. You know there's gonna come out with a new one on yeah. I think HBO Max. There's the uh, Devil there's, Made Me Do It. Yeah, there's the Conjuring Five. One. And then there's like Insidious Chapter something, like chapter four. Insidious or, or uh, like, like how many fucking Insidious movies are there? Insidious, I think like maybe the first two were good, but after that, no, not really. Oh, gaining uh, anymore. What, what's the name of the fucking movie? When they introduced uh, uh, Darth Maul. Oh, Sinister! Oh Sinister. my god, dude! Oh my god! When my brother, I, I fucking love him to death, but he's a he's a dick. <laughs> He's a dick. <laughs> All right. So let me tell you this fucking story. <laughs> right? So uh he was like, Oh, you like watching horror movies? Watch a real horror film, right? Because predominantly I like, you know, I like my Halloween and Friday the thirteenth and like movies with a with a villain, you know what I mean? Like uh yeah. Like with a slasher, uh, like slasher movies. In the slasher movies, yeah. Like I, I fucking love slasher movies, man. Anyway, um, he was like, watch a real horror film, right? So, uh, he had me watch Insidious, right? Not Insidious, uh, Sinister. And um, I, I, it was in my grandma's trailer, right? We we're watching it. And I was scared shitless. I was watching it the entire the entire movie. I was fucking like I was, I was I was jumping up and down. I was fucking screaming like a little girl. It was, ooh, it was bad. And then, you know, what he did. He had me watch the fucking movie, and then he had me watch the second one, and then he sent me home. <laughs> <laughs> it was like go home, and. I I don't know if you know this, but I live in a two story house. Yeah, I know. And that. the first, I think the I've first been to the front of your house. Huh? Oh I yeah, think I've cause... been to your house. Yeah, because you, you well, not fucking inside, lived, but like... you've not inside, <laughs> obviously, but you know you've lived in my neighbor. You live in my lived in my neighborhood, so I'm pretty sure you've seen my house. Yeah, I was like a street away. It has not changed. At all. Anyway, he sent me home, right? And that night, oh my god, how you can tell I was scared was I have a guitar in, right? Uh huh. I slept with that shit in front of my door. Not in front of my door, <laughs> but my door was shut and the amp was right in front of it to keep it shut, right? And I was fucking petrified. And uh, scared the ever living shit out of me. Anyway, uh, back to horror movies and like goosebumps and all that. I'd say about six months later, after the goosebumps thing, or no, say I was about 13, maybe 14, right? And my brother had me watch because I have three brothers. This is one of them. One of them who I spend the most time with. He had me watch uh, Final Destination. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I, <laughs> I fucking love that movie series. Final Destination makes like fears that you didn't even know existed. 
I dude We're going behind it, trucks. The fucking log wood. truck. Oh my god, dude. Final death. All right. So I watched it and then I watched because I remember after I watched the first one, I was like, I will I was like, these is these are the only scary movies I will watch. Cause I didn't know that they were horror films. I didn't know what the horror genre was at the time. I just knew that they were called scary movies. So um anyway. Uh uh Final Destination 2. You remember that scene where that dude, uh the fucking piece of shit guy, the douchebag that throws the spaghetti out the window. <laughs> <laughs> you know where I'm going here, don't you? <laughs> he throws the spaghetti out the window, right? He has this big ass Apple computer. Or no, mo- not even a computer. It's just a big ass monitor. Right? <laughs> and th- what said so keep in mind this was I think around 2005? No, 2002. I think. Let me check. Final destination. It was 2003. So this has been 18 years. Fuck, I feel old. Jesus Christ. Anyway. <laughs> Yo, speaking of 18, I'm turning 18 uh, Friday. Oh, shit. I turned 18 in January. All right, so Final Destination 2 came out in 2003. And um, that one scene where the dude, he, so this is a big ass Apple monitor, right? He puts it on the, he puts it on a table and then he fucking starts up some burners and shit. And like, he takes spaghetti and fucking throws it out the window and it comes to bite him in the ass. It, he fucking throws <laughs> it out the window. And he he goes to walk underneath the fire escape, right? And he walks under the fire escape, slips on the fucking spaghetti that he threw out the window, <laughs> takes a back bump, perfect fucking back bump, by the way. Uh, back bumps are uh, those falls that wrestlers take when they throw punches. Anyway. He takes a perfect back bump and the fire escape just fucking unlatches and goes through his eyeballs. Dude. I remember I seeing Final Fantasy or I was gonna say Final, Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Destination. Final, Final Destination. Fantasy. Yeah, I don't know. Hold on. Final <laughs> Destination is like all their deaths are like really elaborate. They have this whole thing and, is unfolding just to lead to a death. And like fucking uh like and uh what was it final de- was it final destination 3 with the fucking um with the tanning bed huh no, I don't remember cause I, I, I think it was final des- no uh final destination 2 was um that one where I think final destination 3 was the the roller coaster Oh, <laughs> yeah! Final Destination Three was the roller coaster. Man, that made so many people scared of roller coasters, dude. Oh my god, that's oh! I got a story about a roller coaster that I'm gonna tell a little bit later on. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, Final Destination Two is the reason I will not drive behind a log truck. Because this motherfucker is to drive Chuck motherfucking Wheeler, by the way. Chuck motherfucking <laughs> Wheeler. He's driving behind this log truck. He's like, D-d-d-d-d-d. he's like, oh my God, this is going to be so great, right? He's just driving, driving, driving. And then the, lo- the fucking cables on the goddamn log truck snap. And the logs just keep, they just start going de- like, They just start releasing and log truck right through the motherfucker's windshield, right through his head, right through the back of his car and bro. And then here comes another one right through his car, right through the other guy. 
Oh my god. That is the exact reason I will never drive behind a log truck. And that tanning bed kill. Oh my Jesus. That fucking tanning bed kill. It was easily preventable. Oh my god. Dude, it was so easy to be prevented. Because these dumb bitches, they fucking, there was a sign. They needed to look at the goddamn sign. <laughs> there was a sign, my guy. And it said, do not have drinks near the tanning bed equipment. Right? But these motherfuckers, they're like, oh, it doesn't matter. And they put their fucking, they had a couple of big gulps or like slurpees or some shit, right? And they put it right next to the goddamn uh, power, like, surge stuff, right? And then the fucking wind came. Death. The fucking wind <laughs> hit the goddamn hit the goddamn sweat that was coming off of the goddamn uh, fucking um, drink, right? And then it hit the power thing, then it sparked a fire, and then something fell. And then, uh, like, their tanning beds, these bitches are wearing headphones and everything. They're wearing the little stupid ass goggles and shit. And these motherfuckers are just sitting there, right? Or no, they're just laying there. And then they get locked in. And these motherfuckers don't even know they're locked in until they start smell themselves burning to a crisp. <laughs> and they're like, let me out, let me out, let me out, right? And then they start burning alive. Fire comes out. Like, I mean, like, dude, oh my God. Final destination is my exact reason. It will tell, like, everything that happens in those movies, I purposely avoid doing. <laughs> Like, I, because you never know. The shit might actually could happen. You never fucking know, man. That's why uh, I'm very skeptical about roller coasters. I will never drive behind log trucks. And I will never go into a fucking tanning bed. And also, <laughs> if you go into a tanning bed, it'll leave like this fucking uh, cancerous like scar on like the back of your uh, on the back of your shoulder. Which is like super strange. The only reason I know that is because I watched the Final Destination Two Kill Count, <laughs> and James talked about it. Dead me, James. Yeah, Yo, I, I met him. I oh, met him at. Uh, tell this in, story. Uh, tell this story. Midsummer Scream, which is like a, a horror convention for all like the theme parks that do horror stuff, like Halloween Horror Nights, Not Scary mm -hmm. Farm. You know, the list goes mm -hmm. on, especially now that SeaWorld has announced that they're starting something here in San Diego. Wait, so, they're, st they're starting like a horror horror thing? Yes, yeah, SeaWorld. What? Fucking SeaWorld? But the thing is, they own uh, a franchise in Orlando called Bush Gardens that does the exact same horror event they're going to bring over to SeaWorld. Anyway, uh... But, yeah, so... A lot of YouTube, horror YouTubers and stuff go there, like... Crypt TV, like, make the movie shorts. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's found flicks. Yeah, so uh, Dead Meat James, we were in line... James A. Janice. He was, like, walking around, you're about to get in line for the... Halloween Horror Nights panel. See their announcements. And mm -hmm. Dead Meat James is... Walking around, so we went He's and took around. a picture He's with him. He's just like, <laughs> 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 like, like I, there's like there's floors. He came out from like the bottom floor and he was coming up. Then we we stopped him to take a picture, and that was pretty much it. And uh, speaking of horror movies, I have had the privilege of having my name in the credits of two 80s horror film documentaries. Two four-hour long... Fuck, dude. The, these documentaries are like... like The first one's four hours and 46 minutes. The part two that just came out, 
is four hours and fucking four hours and 50 minutes or something like that, right? And there was a dead meat edition of the first one. And I wasn't able to get my hands on it, but I got my hands on the uh, normal edition because they had a flash sale uh, last year. And I got my hands on the Corey Taylor collector's edition of part one and of part two. I got my hands on the Corey Taylor collector's edition of that one and the Chris Jericho collector's edition of that one. So I have my name in two 80s horror film documentaries. And uh, I remember after, uh, say, make it, when was, when did season three of uh, Stranger Things come out? I think it was. Wasn't it the 4th of July? Yeah, yeah. It was uh, the Fourth of July. I don't think it July. was 2020 because I remember, I remember going to the beach around that time. So. <laughs> oh yeah, it was 2019. I don't think COVID was a thing. Yeah, COVID wasn't even a fucking like it. It wasn't even a like nothing, pandemic. right? China we were like brought it over yet. We were like pandemic. <laughs> It'll never happen. <laughs> fucking here we are. A year later, <laughs> stuck in our houses. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. I know. Anyway. We started in 2020, and we're still in 2021. Still stuck inside. Yeah. I'm so fucking pale. I need to go outside. <laughs> I need to get some vitamin C. I've literally done nothing but sleep since then. The, like, I've... <laughs> uh, believe it or not, 2020 actually brought a few things good for me. It made my channel hit 100 subscribers, which I am now at 110. But it was the 4th of July, 2000. No, it was July 2nd, 2019, right? I was at my grandma's house, my grandma on my mom's side. And me and my brother were there to watch her house. As, like she was away doing something, right? And he had me watch. He was like, he was like, I'm going to have you watch Stranger Things on Netflix because I know you don't like mm -hmm. scary movies, but I'm going to pop your horror movie cherry, right? Even though by that point it, it had already been popped, but like not, it hadn't been propped, popped like properly, I guess you could say. Like I didn't become a, like I'd regularly watch horror movies and not, because before then I'd just be like, yeah. I, I don't want to watch a horror movie. I, I don't like them. But now, oh my God. Anyway, uh, we he had me, it was July 2nd. He was like, I'm going to have you watch the first two seasons of Stranger Things, right? So I was on a fucking speed run because <laughs> on the 4th of July, the third season of Stranger Things came out. And within two days, I want like two days, no sleep at all. Right? From July 2nd to July 3rd, both seasons of Stranger Things done. The first two seasons done. No sleep whatsoever. Kind of reminds me how I started watching me, like my whole family basically. My aunt came and she told us about it, and we stayed watching season one. Because season two wasn't out by then. Mm -hmm. We stayed watching season one. And we stayed there till like 12. Just watching it. Okay. And then here's... season two came out. And we basically did it again. So here's the time frame of what I had to go through. It was 440. Nah. It is say about 3 o'clock July 2nd. Right? And my brother was like, oh, you got to watch this because season three is about to come out and we're going to watch it when it comes out. Right. I was like, OK, so three o'clock. He was like, you're going to have to watch all both seasons. Right. So three <laughs> o'clock to on July 2nd, I watch the first season. I get done with the first season about. Uh, say about eight, eight p.m. or something like that. Right. 
And then from 8 p.m. to about 6 o'clock in the morning, July 3rd, I start and finish season two. And then uh, my brother wakes up. He was like, did you, you watch it, didn't you? I was like, yep. <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to go, I'm going to go to sleep now. So I got about six hours of sleep. And then I watched season three. And it it was kind of cool. Now I find it funny Thank because you, was good. T- about two years ago, it's been what like two years since I started watching horror movies like regularly. So I find it funny how uh, you couldn't get me to do anything with horror movies, like nothing at all. <laughs> like I I didn't want to go through haunted houses, nothing. Right, but now. The almost the entirety of my Blu-ray collection is horror films, like legit, dude. <laughs> and I got the eight-film collection of Saw, dude. I fucking love the Saw movies. They're so uh, good. I didn't. I don't, know, I don't really like them that much. The best, the the best two out of the entire franchise are the first two. Yeah, the first two were really good because it was like. It was something new when the first two came out, you know. And but then, like, when, like and ap- they kind of get once, they kind of get repetitive got to, over time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once it got to Saw three, shit just went downhill. Like just, <laughs> like the Purge. Okay, the yeah. first Purge movie oh my God. was all right because it was it was something new. You haven't seen it before, and then and then comes Purge two and whatever the other one's called. There, I think there's purge. Uh, there's the purge. Anarchy or something. And then like anarchy, that. and then yeah, there's the purge, and then the purge anarchy, and then the purge election year, and then the new movie was called the first purge or something like that. Something stupid. Yeah, something dumb. But the point was that was like a one-time movie. I don't think you could make a second, third out of that because it gets boring. It's cool the first time, but it's not cool the other times. Like Universal okay. Halloween Horror Nights. This this brings me back there. Uh, <laughs> they had Purge for years, and it sucked. It it was just terrible. <laughs> I, I remember hearing a story about uh, there's this one person. Uh, I don't know if you know the story or not, but there's this one person. They were uh, in like a horror maze or something like that. And this guy with a chainsaw. And I think the chainsaws mm-hmm. aren't the chainsaws like they got rubber blades or something like that. They don't. It's not just, like a real. I just think they it's I think it's like a chainsaw. They just don't have a, a chain on. Them. So it, it's like, it, you could smell the gas from them. They just like, like it's a real chain. chainsaw. They just don't have like the so like they the can't cut you because it's it. not. It's just making noise. Like it's a real chainsaw, but the it doesn't have the components to make it a real chainsaw. Yeah, it can't cut anything. And from what I heard, there was this one chick that uh w- was all scared because this dude was chasing her with a chainsaw, and he like he cornered her in a corner, right? And he just started revving the uh-huh. chainsaw in her face, and then her fucking boyfriend came up from out of nowhere and he was like you can't touch her that's the rule you can't touch her god damn it eh, you can't touch her you can't touch me and then he was just and then the guy was just like sorry dude yeah <laughs> oh they'll show you out and then he just showed him out and that kind of killed the mystique of that maze <laughs> yeah All right. them going out of character kind of Kind of kills it. Mess it up, <laughs> you know. Oh, um. Uh, all right. So we're gonna have a segment since this is kind of a horror themed podcast. Not all horror themes, but it's a horror themed episode. So, who would you say is your favorite special? Give me your top three special effects makeup artists. Uh. Well. Tom Savini is one of them, obviously. 
obviously Tom. Uh, you got to go with Big Tom. You know, I met him too. I met him. you, really bro. Cool. What you? Wait, okay, wait, wait, wait. Fuck the podcast. You met Tom Savini? Yeah, it was at another uh, another like horror convention called Monster Palooza. Do oh, I've heard of that. Uh, I, mm-hmm. I'm so, so jealous of you right now. He's there like every year. I have actually like literally right on top of me a signed photo. I think I have a picture with them. I don't have a picture now. It's on some phone. All right. So but I don't really uh, have a lot of favorite special effects artists. I know I like Rick Baker. It's cool too. Oh, he did the American Werewolf in London. Yeah. Or an American Werewolf in London. He's so fucking cool. Like, he fucking posts on his Instagram all the time. He just does, and, like, uh, because he's bored, like, he just does sculpts of himself. I like the Chiodo brothers. The people who made Killer Crowns from Outer Space. I don't, know oh. if, I don't know if both of them do the special effects or just one. But... I think I it really, might be I really like Killer Clowns from Outer Space. It's like one of my favorites. Yeah, I met them too. This awesome. Oh, cool. you did at the um, same uh, convention. This, bro, I think you went to the same one James did. Uh, uh, the Dead Meat guy. Oh, I think I did. I think I go to all of them. Because I've been I, to Midsummer Scream since I think it was basically like the first or second year. I went to, there's one called Scare LA. I know that was its first year. And then I did the second year with like a VIP pass. And then it died. So that doesn't exist <laughs> anymore. And then it was <laughs> Monster Palooza. That one's more of a, that one's more for like the special effects group when mm-hmm. Midsummer Screams like for the theme parks and stuff. Announcements. Dude. Oh, you know when Halloween 2018 came out? Yeah. You know how they had a Halloween 40 convention? Oh, yeah, and, I wanted uh, to go to that. I, now that I'm looking back, I really wish I started watching horror movies in, like, 2018, you know, because I watched a video of uh, Dead Meat, James A. Janice. He fucking, he went to there, and he got the um, his uh, Michael Myers mask signed by all of the Michael Myers actors. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted the. What was the? I think it was Nick Castle. Is that like the original guy? Yeah, he played the original Michael Myers. I have one of them who says he's from Halloween One of a mask signed. I don't. I don't remember if it was like two people playing Michael Myers at that time. Actually, I think that movie's so production. It's not Nick Castle, but it was like one of the other ones. It's still pretty cool, but. From from Halloween One, I think there was like, fucking. That movie's production was so fucked uh, that uh, I think there was like four people that played Michael Myers. Like Deborah Hill <laughs> played him in the uh, producer. Deborah Hill played him in one shot when she grabbed the mask and the knife, the POV shot. And then Tony Moran played him when he uh, pulled his mask off and then he got shot by Loomis. And uh, there was like four people that played him in that production. It's even rumored that John Carpenter himself played him in that, uh, that film. I think it was Tony Moran who signed my mask. I'm not sure. Cause he, he was the guy that, uh, that was Michael Myers when he was unmasked. I think he was the one who signed the mask. I know it wasn't Nick Castle, but I have it sitting behind me in a bag so it doesn't get dust on it or anything. <laughs> I like how what it's we see resort through, to. so you can see it. But... Dude, I like, I think it's funny how what we resort to for our, uh, <laughs> like how we preserve shit is we just put it in a bag and we fucking it's stuff it same... in our closet. It's the same bag like we bought it in. We put it in a clear plastic bag after we bought it. We just mm-hmm. never took it out the bag. And I and put it on a mannequin head, and it's in my on like one of my desks. 
and something just sitting there. And speaking of masks, uh, what I want to do when I like buy a house and stuff is I want to make uh, like uh, statues. I guess you can say like life size statues with mannequins and all that. Uh huh. That's always like, cool. Like I was thinking, I was gonna make a uh, a ghost faced one. A yeah, ghost faced one where uh, always he has wanted like a, a life sized Michael Myers or Freddy Krueger in my room. Dude, speaking of Michael, uh, life size Michael Myers, uh, do you watch the YouTube channel A House of Masks or The House of Masks? Uh, I know who that is. I don't really watch yeah. his videos though. I follow AJ him on Good. Instagram. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I talk to him all the time. He's he's uh, I he's think become... he went. Was it him or the face of Hollywood? Is that also him? That's uh, no, else. that's someone else. As far as them, I know, one of them went to or still goes to the Tom Savini school. I think it was the face of Hollywood. You know, I think it's the face of Hollywood too. Because too. as far as I know, uh, I seen a video that AJ Good did. Who is the guy that runs the House of Masks? He, uh, he has a life size 2018. Michael Myers statue, right? And I have, I'm, fuck, I'm dude. I'm st speaking of like masks and stuff. I'm staring at a ghost face mask right now. Like it's just <laughs> sitting inside of inside of a football helmet, just staring directly at me. I guess you could call me like a mask collector or something. I have Fuck, you make masks, last don't you? Year, Out of, like, latex? Yeah. Last year, I bought a Sam mask from Trick or Treat. And, uh... I have that scene around. Then I have, uh... Like, two different Jason masks. I have two Killer Clowns from Outer Space masks. I have, a, I have a lot of masks just in my room. I just realized my my chair is so goddamn creaky. It's gonna fuck with the recording so bad. I have a an an original like Raggedy Ann that I went to buy after the Annabelle movies came out. Oh, uh, did you hear that? Um, like the Raggedy Ann doll was the original Annabelle, not the like the fucking An Annabelle yeah, that's doll. Why, that's that why that was I used it. in the movie. Yeah. All right. Uh, I, like, I really looked into the Ed and Lorraine Warren's cases. Mm -hmm. Cause, yeah. It's like stuff like that. Anyway. Uh, uh, the, how I set up this interview was completely, completely half-assed. <laughs> it was so fucking <laughs> half-assed. There was no planning, no nothing. It was, I was just, just laying down when you messaged me. Like, I, bro, <laughs> dude, I was just sitting in my chair. I was scrolling through my DMs on Instagram. And then I saw you. I was like, I haven't talked to him in a while. And I need to do <laughs> AF. <laughs> And I haven't fucking, because let me go back to Instagram and show you how long it's been since we've talked. Because you have two accounts. August. I think it was August. I wasn't able to sign in. I didn't sign into my, my mask account because I got Cause a new phone and I forgot the password to it. On your main account, it was August 21st. <laughs> yeah. 2020. Has it been that long? It's been like months. No, not at least it hasn't been a year or something. And then uh, l let me scroll down. Okay, so let me do a cheap plug for <laughs> your fucking mask account. I don't have access to it. Let's not do that. Uh, it says I make latex face mask. I for <laughs> I forget. <laughs> I you forgot need the this. password for that account. <laughs> so let me take that out of my bio. <laughs> <laughs> this says my YouTube out too because I don't know <laughs> <what I'm laughs> <at> either. <laughs> On uh, the 
Do you want me to say the name of this account, or do you want me to keep it private? Uh, which one? The mask account. Well, I don't have access to it, so I would just keep it private. Okay. No, it's not like for, I'll upload it on it anymore. For the mask account, the last time uh, I messaged you on that mask account was July 31st. So it's... <laughs> It's been months. It has. Months since we've talked. It's, it's, it's been a very, a very, very long time. And what I find funny no. is uh, how this interview came about. I was just scrolling through my DMs on Instagram, <laughs> right? And I was like, I haven't talked to him in a long time. Since you were, I scrolled all the way down, dude. All the way <laughs> fucking down. You were at the bottom. The bottom, right? So I was like, I haven't talked to him in a while. Uh, and I need to do an episode of the podcast. So I figured, you know, why not? Let's, let's do <laughs> this, right? So I did the, ep- I, I texted you. I and was now like, now here we are. Are you down? Are you down to do an episode of my podcast? You were like, yeah, sure. When? I was like, right now. You were like, all right, <laughs> let me get my laptop. <laughs> and then fucking here we are an hour later. <laughs> We've been doing this for an hour and nine minutes. So uh, I'd say my top three uh Makeup artists are Tom Savini, Rick Baker, and Greg Nicotero. Uh-huh. And Greg Nicotero is the guy He's... that did uh, The Walking Dead, and he did stuff for uh, Day of the Dead. Uh huh. And uh, George Romero is one of my favorite horror movie filmmakers too. You know, he came out on a Call of Duty Zombies map, and he was like the boss. Really? <laughs> yeah. On Black I did Ops not know one. this. I think the map was called Day of the Dead, and uh, Danny Trejo is in it. Uh, <laughs> you know, Freddy Krueger is my favorite guy, but I keep forgetting the actor's name. I know it. Robert England. Keep... Yes, him. He's Robert Eglund. And there's some other girl that's in it. Danielle Harris? I, I don't know her name. I honestly don't know who that is, but she's in it. <laughs> she played uh, Jamie Lloyd in Halloween's 4 and 5. No, all right. Yeah, and George Romero is like the boss of the whole map. That's fucking great. The basis around it is they're filming a zombies movie where the Nazis would experiment on making zombies in that location. So this is basically the plot of Overlord. Zombies came to life. (laughs) The zombies came to life, and then the map starts there. Dude, that's basically the plot of the movie Overlord. Like... (laughs) Like, have you seen that movie? It's on Hulu. Uh, no, I haven't. I don't have Hulu. Oh, dude. I recommend you watch that movie. It's it's basically Nazis are making zombies, and <laughs> like you're going to have to survive it. You're going through the war in the fucking 40s or whenever the Nazi like war thing was. So, there's that. And uh, all right. You know what I hated the most about this lockdown is all the events I would go to that are horror based. They like, just have been shut canceled. down. I can't go there anymore. Universal Halloween Horror Nights hasn't been going since last year. I don't even think it will happen this year either. Fucking Disneyland got shut down. Uh, everything got shut down, dude. Knots is not just doing a, a taste event. The rides aren't open, but you can still go to Knots. What? How the fuck does that work? I don't know. Social distance. How many mask? How, 
if you think about even it, even though it's a many... tasting of it, and you had to take off your mask to eat. Oh, dude, I know. Do you know how fucking stupid people are? I know that there's someone right now showering with a mask on. Because <laughs> think about it. You you gotta know. People are fucking stupid. Like, there was this one chick. I seen this video. There is this one oh, chick. I, I tested positive for COVID like months you ago. You did? And yeah, I did. And I, I didn't have it bad. I had like the cough and stuff. And uh, what? Who? I'm what just the... now, like literally just last night, I started to get my taste and smell back. <laughs> I, I'm glad we're doing this over Discord. <laughs> Because, uh, you know, I can't afford to get COVID. I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm contagious anymore, but, like, because I haven't got any new symptoms. I'm basically better now. I just had to test negative. Fuck, dude. How the fuck did you get COVID? All right, so my niece comes over to do school. <laughs> and long story short, we got I got it from her. Oh, my God. Speaking, my little okay. cousin. Transition. Yeah, she's cool. Like, I don't know how old she is. She's little. What? That's transition. That transitions into our next topic. School has been so fucking weird, dude. Oh my school god, it's been easy actually. Online school is probably the best thing that could happen to me. Now, same here, dude. I'm ending the year like, with fucking A's think, and B's. I don't think I'll be able to graduate if it wasn't for online school happening. <laughs> like, dude, same here. Legit. Like, fucking online school is the school best wise, thing. Corona was a blessing in disguise for school. Yeah, school-wise, fucking Corona was a blessing in disguise. And, uh, fucking... <laughs> Since I live five minutes away from the high school, uh-huh. uh, I go down there every Tuesday and Thursday. Why? Because of uh, my woodshop project that I was working on last year, and then uh, it just never got finished. So I'm finally finishing it. My entire goal is I have to finish it before I move. And I have like four months, right? Mm -hmm. So I got to finish it as soon as I can. So that that's why I'm going down there every Tuesday and Thursday. But I can't go this week because we have this week off of school. Uh, I'm gonna go no, next. I'm week, really though. hoping that school I want to go to is like not closed and they're just like. Closed temporarily or something. They're not like permanently <laughs> shut down, because dude, because <laughs> I would really want to so go to that school. Fucked. Yeah, that would be so fucked. If not, though, I'm hoping this competition I'm doing helps out a little bit. There's a ten thousand dollar cash prize, but. I'm more in I'm more in on it because I want to get exposed to the directors, the people who did one of the directors from The Walking Dead is going to see it uh director or producer. The, both there's directors, producers, the director for I know it was exactly the director for It 1 and 2. All of the fucking um I can't remember then, their names, but they're like a brother sister duo. Yeah. Oh. And then uh, the guy who made the concept art for The Predators is also going to see it. And then if you get first place, you'll get in a call, in a private call with that guy. So I, I think it'll be really just, cool. like, talk about it? I guess, yeah. Anyway, um, speaking, of, speaking of it and Pennywise and all that, uh, I'm wearing some Pennywise socks right now, dude. <laughs> like, I'm not even joking. I'm wearing Pennywise socks right now. And I remember 
I the first time I watched it chapter two since I uh ever since I was a kid I've had a fear of clowns. Uh yeah, it's probably a bad uh-huh. idea to say that. But why why uh, was it a bad idea? Because I know you and <laughs> <laughs> what am I gonna do? Just send a clown to your house? That, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's uh, that's Hold all on. I did. It's on its way. Look out for <laughs> it Fucking what is this clown house? <laughs> uh, yeah, that fucking movie is terrible. Victor Salva is a piece of shit. <laughs> he he's a fucking he's he's a sex offender and piece of garbage. Anyway, uh, uh, so uh, I watched it chapter two, and that movie was great. But I was sitting there like. Fucking wait, all right, let me show you. Okay, come on, go up. I was sitting there like this the entire time. <laughs> like I had my eyes wide open. I was like, ah fuck. I I was I was so I was fucking petrified. But I watched the entire movie and I actually own both it one and two. And um, how I know a movie, a horror movie is good is it ends up in my Blu-ray collection. (laughs) Like, I'm not even joking, dude. I have so many good horror movies and like movies that I just that movies that aren't necessarily good, but they're just movies I like. Like, for instance, Girl on the Third Floor, that movie's on Netflix. I have the. I don't think I've seen that one actually. I recommend it. It's a haunted house movie. It's not like a sinister haunted house movie though. It's more uh, the plot of the movie is there's this one guy named Don Don Koch, played by CM Punk. He and his pregnant wife. Isn't that the rest of it? Yeah, this is a wrestler guy. He is uh he bought a haunted house with his wife, his pregnant wife. They bought a house they did not know was haunted. But it's all torn <laughs> down and shit, right? And uh Don is he's faced with uh he has to fix up the house before his wife comes back with the baby. And because I don't want to ruin the plot or ruin the movie at all, that movie is fucking crazy. And it's really fucking good. I highly recommend you watch it. And have you seen the uh, 1977 movie uh, Rabid? No, I haven't. I haven't watched that many like old movies. There was a uh, a uh, fucking hey, what's it called? There was a 2019 remake, which I own, and it's actually a good movie. It stars uh, Linda uh, Linda uh, Linda Vanderboot L- Vandervoort, I think the name is. She was in Jigsaw. She was uh, that one chick that, like, you've seen Jigsaw, right? Yeah. You remember that scene where the chick uh, steals the inhaler and all that stuff? Uh huh. Yeah, she she was the chick that stole the inhaler. Oh, right. and there's another you know what confused horror. me about Jigsaw. Is wasn't that guy like supposed to be dead? Yeah, he died in like Saw in the ending of Saw Three. <laughs> but if you watch the movie, uh, it ended like the games took place ten years earlier when he was still alive. Oh yeah, I didn't notice that. <laughs> So that's the entire plot of the movie. Anyway, uh, give me your top five horror movie franchises. All right, I really like 
Nightmare on Elm Street. That's like one of my favorites. Uh, Halloween. Basically all like the tie-ins of terror, you know, Leatherface. Uh, Jason. So Friday the 13th and Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh-huh. There's four. The you got one the more. The Conjuring series is also really oh, good. Speaking of The Conjuring, uh, the guy that directed... Uh, what's it called? He directed the Saw movies. He... Mm-hmm. Uh, the guy that directed the Saw movies also directed uh, the Conjuring films. James Wan. Uh huh. He he directed both of them. I'm really hoping this this new one that's supposed to come out is really good. Oh, uh, what's your opinion? Because I like hearing people's opinions on the subject. What's your opinion on the uh, Resident Evil series of movies? Uh, I haven't really watched that many movies of Resident Evil. I saw like the first one. I thought it was all right, but I think the games are like way better than the movie. I'd rather play the games. <laughs> the first <laughs> dude, I think the first movie has to be my favorite. It wasn't my favorite, but like I could watch it. I could sit no, there. No, was... out, out of the out of the six movies that were made. All right, yeah. Well, I only, I've only seen the one. Because I own the Resident Evil collection on Blu-ray, and uh, what you know, and I also The Exorcist. I guess it was announced for getting a remake. Oh yeah, same with uh, fucking. What's that fucking movie series that they... Hellraiser. Uh-huh. Hellraiser's getting a uh, a new movie because Miramax or whoever... Dimension Films or whoever the fuck owns it has to make a new movie every couple of years that goes straight to... it. Like, they have to make a movie, a Hellraiser movie, just to keep the rights to the franchise. And... In my opinion, the last good Hellraiser movie was maybe Hellraiser 3. Yeah, Hellraiser 3 was the last good one. And then the rest of them just went downhill. Just like, dude, I watched uh, the latest one, Hellraiser uh, Revelations, or whatever the fuck it was called. I didn't even know they were coming out of any more Hellraisers, to be honest. (laughs) The last one that came out was in 2018. Oh, and right. it is god awful. It's so bad. You know, oh, I hope good it's not god. like that with the Exorcist cuz Exorcist is like a really good movie. So. Yeah, like good god. It, it's such a bad film. I'm really hoping this remake doesn't completely just mess up the Exorcist. And uh it's probably gonna hopefully it becomes hopefully they actually do Hellraiser some goddamn justice and make a good goddamn movie and all right what's your favorite original uh universal uh horror movie like Like universal classic monsters like the classic universal monsters uh no, it's hard. I like Swamp Thing and the Wolfman. It's kind of hard you, to pick though because like Invisible Man is also really cool. You mean the creature from the Black Lagoon? Yeah, I keep calling him Swamp Thing. It's just it's the thing I do. Because uh, the three <laughs> universal, <laughs> <laughs> the three universal horror movies that I own on Blu-ray are uh, the Mummy. The Creature from the mm-hmm. Black Lagoon and uh, Frankenstein. Which, fun fact, I don't know if you knew this, but Frankenstein and the mummy, like the monster, were both played by the same guy. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. They were, uh, Frankenstein was played by the man himself, Boris fucking Karlov. 
right? He also played the mummy. And dude, those movies are so fucking good. Oh my god. Anyway, uh shit. It's been an hour and 27 minutes. Jeez, a long episode. This is the minimum for an episode. <laughs> the minimum for an episode. episode for what I used to. I'm used to an hour and then we cut it off there. <laughs> I'm all right. So like how long so, it's been an hour? All right, let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> we need to like I, we need to talk to the boys and like you know get that going back. We need to do a collab between knockoff and culture shock. I think that'd be cool. I'd be down for that. I'd be down to do like a mega episode that's like fucking three hours or something like that. (laughs) Because, you know, I could record all day and shoot shit with you and talk. I could talk horror movies and horror franchises all fucking day with you. But I don't know if we're going to have the time. And oh, there I is a movie I received. Werewolf painting in my background, right? I don't know if I can turn on my camera, but let me turn it on real quick. So me... you see that, like right there in the background? It's kind of dark. It's dark as shit, man. Oh, yeah. uh, here's the. You see it? Oh, right yeah, I see it. Mm-hmm. I, I went to look on where that thing is. Um, where is it from, <laughs> right? I've been looking for months, literal months, okay? And I found out that it was a reproduction. <laughs> it's a prop. <laughs> it's just a mass produced <laughs> for the horror market. <laughs> so you have a fucking prop just sitting in your room? Yeah. Oh, uh, speaking of uh, horror movies. This was that one I was talking about, Girl on the Third Floor. And then here is uh, Rabid that came with a slipcover. I don't have that many Blu-rays. I think I have a special edition Halloween, like Glow in the Dark one from Walmart. Here, here's the fucking Blu-rays I have. Wait, let me let me try to manage this. Look at all that. That's a lot. I have a. Uh, those are all have, Blu-rays, dude. All those masks. My background. Oh, that's so cool. And, uh, and here I have. I can't show the Tom Savini one because it's like it's right mm-hmm. there. But and here's on top the, of my uh, bed is a Linda Blair signed Exorcist thing. That's tight. Here's the In Search of Darkness Part Two. Here's Still have yet art. to watch that. I've been wanting to watch, but the documentary is so long. It's on uh, Movie Box. If you want to watch it, here's the Chris Jericho one. And then here's the Corey Taylor edition of part one. And here's the standard edition of part one. And here is the Corey Taylor edition of part one. And there's another movie. Fuck, where is it? Oh, here it is. God damn it. Uh, this movie I was talking about. This movie, the Interview with the Vampire. This movie's so fucking good. It's so like, good, dude. Is it just on Blu-ray? Where can I find it? You can find it on uh, any streaming platform. You can find it on Hulu, or you can find it on YouTube. You know, um, just anywhere. And dude, it has Brad Pitt, Christian Slater. It has Brad Pitt. Um. Tom Cruise, Antonio Banderas, and uh, Christian Slayer, Christian Slater, and it has uh, Chris, uh, Kirsten Dunst in it. And uh, my dad actually, uh, it's the interview with the vampire was made off of um, the book by I don't know if you know who Anne Rice is. The no, horror, I don't know who that is. Uh, author. Uh, she. Uh, she 
wrote the movies. Uh, no, she wrote the books. She wrote the interview with the vampire and its sequel. And she wrote like six or seven uh, vampire books. She wrote the interview with the vampire, the vampire Lestat. Uh, another one, which I can't remember the name of right now. And then she also wrote uh, the queen of the damned, which is the sequel to the interview with the vampire. And dude, the Queen of the Damned is such a good movie. It's so fucking good. So I, I highly recommend. I highly recommend you watch both of those movies. I'll I'll see if I can find them. Because yeah, uh, you know I was talking about. I have it. Is that the Linda there. Blair or the Thompson? Oh, Thompson. that's. That's the um the cover of his uh documentary. Inside oh, right there. Dude, that's so sick. <clears throat> that's so fucking cool. And get back on. So, uh, yeah, uh, I could sit here and talk movies with you all fucking day, but we've been going for one hour, 34 minutes and eight seconds. Look at that. That's how long we've been going for an hour and 34 minutes, almost an hour and 35 minutes. So I could talk horror movies with you all day. But I think I'm going to stop the recording here. And uh, oh, let me see if I can do this. Leave. All right. Uh, thank you guys for listening to this if you even did i appreciate it and come back next time huh <laughs> <laughs> oh that is a great note to leave i almost just fell <laughs> that is a great note to leave off on all right this thank you guys show how downhill this is going to go <laughs> for uh like um being here and listening to this buffoonery. I hope to see you next time.